Hello everyone! Our lesson for today is about factoring sum and difference of two cubes. And it is based on milk, factors, completely different types of polynomials, which is, uh, again, the sum and difference of two cubes. Okay, so this is module 1, lesson 2, factoring. So, factoring sum and difference of two cubes. Okay, so meron tayo mga pattern na kailangan sundin on how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes. Okay, unahin natin ang sum of two cubes. Pag sinabi nating sum, positive or plus ang gagamitin and two cubes, dalawang perfect cube. Okay, so both first term and last term are perfect cube. Okay, so ito yung pattern na susundin natin. We have the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x square minus xy plus y square. Okay, next we have the difference of two cubes. Pag sinabi natin difference, okay, we use minus uh, symbol or negative sign. Okay. okay, pag sinabi natin two cubes, dapat yung first term niya at saka yung last term ay perfect cube. Okay, so ito yung pattern natin. It is the quantity of x minus y times the quantity of x square plus xy plus y square. Okay, again, pag magpa-factor tayo ng sum and difference of two cubes, ang magiging factor natin is isang binomial factor at saka isang trinomial factor. Okay, anong pagkakaiba doon sa dalawang pattern? Okay, pag sinabi nating sum, ang binomial factor niya ay positive. Ang trinomial factor niya, yung middle term is negative. Okay? While doon sa difference of two cubes, okay, ang binomial factor niya ay negative. At ang trinomial factor niya, okay, ang middle term ng trinomial factor niya ay positive. Okay? Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, same pattern pero ang pinagkaiba lang is yung sign. Sa binomial factor, positive, negative. Sa trinomial factor, yung middle term which is negative, positive. Okay, try to observe the pattern. Okay, bago tayo magpatuloy, recall muna natin ano ba yung cube of a number. Perfect cube and cube root. Okay, so isa-isahin natin lahat yan. Cube of a number, for example, 1 cube, it means that you multiply 1 3 times. We have 1 times 1 times 1. Then it is equal to 1. 1 is a perfect cube. Okay, to get the cube root, we have the cube root of 1 and the answer is 1. Okay, next we have 2 cube means we multiply 2 3 times. We have 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 it is equal to 8. Okay, then 8 is a perfect cube. Kung i-change natin into exponential form, ang exponential form niya ay 2 cube. Okay, find the cube root of 8, it is equal to 2. Kung ano yung roots niya. Okay, which is the root is 2. Now, we have 3 cubed. It is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. And the answer is equal to 27. Okay? Exponential form ng 27 is 3 cubed. Okay? To find the square root of 27, the answer is 3. Okay? Ayan. Kung ano yung root. Yun yung sagot dun sa cube root of 27. Next, 4 cubed. 4 times 4 times 4. Then, it is equal to 64. Sa exponential form ng 64, we have 4 cubed. Okay? To find the cube root of 64, it is equal to 4. Okay, next we have 5 cubed and it is equivalent to 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 equals 25 times 5 equals 125. Okay, exponential form of 125 is 5 cubed. And to find the cube root of 125, the answer is, okay, 5. Next, we have now 6 cubed. 6 cubed, uh, we multiply 6 3 times. So, 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. Okay, exponential form, 6 cubed. Then, and then, cube root of 216 is equal to 6. Okay, so we have 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216. Those are what we call perfect cube. At marami pang iba. Okay. So, cube number. 
Therefore, cube number is a number multiplied by itself three times. Okay? So, we have the what we call perfect cube. We have 1, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 8, and so on. Okay? So, now, let's start. Okay, now, we're going to factor sum of two cubes. Okay, ito yung pattern na gagamitin natin. Mapafactor lang natin siya again kapag yung first term at saka yung last term ay perfect cube. Okay, example, we have to factor x cubed plus 8. x cubed is a perfect cube and 8 is also a perfect cube. Okay, so ito yung pattern na gagamitin natin. So, ang una natin gagawin, okay, express muna natin yung um, terms natin in exponential form. Okay, so we have x cubed is already in exponential form and 8, the exponential form of 8 is 2 cubed. The x cubed plus 8 is equivalent to x cubed plus 2 cubed. Okay, so ayan. Again, the exponential form of 8 is 2 cubed. Okay, next. Let's continue. x cubed plus 8. We're going to rewrite in the form of exponential form. We have x cubed plus 2 cubed. And then, we use this pattern. The next, it becomes x cubed plus 2 cubed. And then, to get the binomial factor... Okay, kukunin lang natin yung root, which is uh, root of x cubed is x, and the root of 2 cubed is 2. Okay, so, or, ang gagawin lang natin, para makuha yung binomial factor, okay, kukunin lang natin yung cube root ng x cubed. Cube root ng x cubed ay x, cube root ng 8 ay 2. Okay, para makuha naman yung trinomial factor, ang gagawin natin from the binomial factor, which is x plus 2, square lang natin yung first term ng binomial at saka yung second term ng binomial. So, x square is equal to x square. So, yung x square na yan, yun yung ilalagay natin doon sa first term ng trinomial. Okay, then yung 2, yung second term ng binomial, square din natin. So, we have uh, 2 square. 2 square is equal to, uh, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, yung 4 na yan, ilalagay natin doon sa last term ng trinomial factor. Okay, and then, uh, follow the pattern, which is the negative sign doon sa middle term ng trinomial. Okay, negative din ang ilalagay natin. Okay, para makuha ang middle term, imumultiply lang natin yung first term ng binomial at yung second term ng binomial factor, which is x times 2. So, x times 2 is equal to 2x. Okay, so yun yung ilalagay natin doon sa middle term ng trinomial factor natin. Okay, the factor of x cubed plus 8 is... Uh, the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, so that is how to factor the sum of 2 cubes. Okay, next we have another example. Factor 8x cubed plus 125. Okay, next express in exponential form. Okay, 8 it becomes 2 cubed and then we have x cubed plus the exponential form of 125 is 5 cubed. Okay, same step pa rin. Um, gagamitin din natin yung pattern na ginamit natin doon sa uh, example number 1 which is the sum of 2 cubes pattern. And then, rewrite natin yung exponential form. Then we have 2 cubed, x cubed plus 5 cubed. And then, to get the binomial factor, ang gagawin natin, kukunin lang natin yung roots, okay, ng exponential form natin, which is 2x plus 5. 
or from the given 8x cubed plus 125 to get 2x, kukunin natin ang cube root ng 8. Cube root ng 8 is 2. Cube root ng x cubed ay x. So, that's why we have 2x. Okay, next, the cube root of 125 is 5. Again, our binomial factor is 2x plus 5. Now, to get the trinomial factor, okay, we square the first term of the binomial factor. We have 2x square. 2 square is 4. Then, we have x square. So, that's why we have 4x square. So, yung 4x square na yan, lalagay natin doon sa first term ng trinomial. Okay, next, um, the second term of the binomial factor is 5. Uh, let's square. So, 5 is square means we multiply 5 2 times. So, we have 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, yun yung ilalagay natin doon sa last term ng trinomial factor. Positive 25. Now, to get the middle term of the trinomial factor, ang gagawin lang natin doon sa binomial factor natin, um, imumultiply natin ang first term which is 2x ita times natin sa um, second term ng binomial factor natin which is 5. So, 2x times 5 is equal to 10x. So, yun yung ilalagay natin sa middle term. Okay, 10x. And then, yung negative sign which is nasa pattern na negative. i -re -re write lang natin or just copy the uh, sign of the middle term. Okay, next. Therefore, uh, the factor of 8x cubed plus 125 is um, the quantity of 2x plus 5 times the quantity of 4x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now, we have difference of 2 cubes. Example number 3, factor x cubed minus 64. Okay, our next step is to change x cubed minus 64 in exponential form. Okay, the exponential of x cubed is x cubed, while the exponential form of 64 is 4 cubed. Okay, and then, um, gagamitin natin yung pattern which is para sa difference of 2 cubes. Okay, the pattern is we have x cubed minus y cubed equals the quantity of x minus y times the quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared. Okay, so ang pinagkaiba lang kanina ng sum, okay, so sum kanina which is yung binomial factor na is sum din. So this time, uh, difference, so difference din ang binomial factor at ang middle term ng trinomial natin is positive. Okay, so next... We will write the exponential form. We have x cubed minus 4 cubed. And then to get the binomial factor, kukunin lang natin yung root ng x cubed at saka ng 4 cubed, which is x cubed is x. And then we have 4. Okay, or find the cube root of x cubed. Cube root of x cubed is x. And cube root of 64 is 4. Okay, so that is how to find the binomial factor of um, difference of 2 cubes. Next, to find the trinomial factor, square lang natin yung first term. So, we have x square. So, yung x square na yan, yan yung ilalagay sa first term ng trinomial. And then, the plus sign. Okay, kanina sa sum, uh, negative yan. Ngayon, difference, positive naman yan. Okay, next, 4. Square natin ang 4. The answer is 16. So, yan yung ilalagay natin doon sa last term ng trinomial factor. Okay, next. To get the, the middle term of the trinomial factor, gagawin lang natin uh, from the binomial factor, mumultiply lang natin yung first term at saka yung second term, which is x times 4. So, x times 4 equals 4x. So, yung 4x na yan, yun yung ilalagay sa middle term. Therefore, the factor of x cubed minus 64 is the quantity of x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 16. Okay, now let's have an example number 4. Factor 27x cubed minus 8y cubed. Okay, the first step is to change it into exponential form. So, we have the exponential of 27 is 3 cubed. 
exponential of x cube is x cube minus exponential of 8 is 2 cube y cube okay and then uh, we're going to follow this pattern next we write the exponential form and then to get the binomial factor kukunin lang natin yung mga roots which is yung 3x and 2y Okay, then now we have 3x minus 2y. Sana kuha yun, yun yung mga roots. We have 3x, we have 2 and y. So, that's why we have 3x minus 2y. Or, okay, we're going to find the cube root of 27, which is 3. Cube root of x cube is x. And then, cube root of 8 is 2 cube root. Cube root of y cube is y. Okay, so that's why we have 3x minus 2y. Then, to get the trinomial factor, okay, we square the first term of the binomial, which is 3x square. So, 3 square means we multiply 3 2 times. So, 3 times 3 is 9. And then, we have x square. So, yan yung ilalagay natin sa first term ng trinomial factor. Next, on the second term of the binomial, we have negative 2y, then we square 2y, then it is equal to 4y square. So, yan naman yung ilalagay doon sa last term ng trinomial natin, trinomial factor. And then, to get the middle term, so ang gagawin natin, okay, from the binomial factor, imumultiply natin yung first term at saka second term ng uh, binomial factor, which is we have 3x times 2y. So, 3x times 2y is equal to 6xy. So, yan yung ilalagay natin sa middle term ng trinomial factor natin, which is 6xy. Okay, therefore, the factor of 27x cubed minus 8y cube is 3x minus 2y times the quantity of 9x square plus 6xy plus 4y square. Okay? So, that is how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes. Okay? Now, it's your turn and try your best. Okay? So, this is for your activity. Number 1, factor x cube minus 64y cube. Number 2, factor 27x cube plus 125y cube. And number 3, factor 125x cubed minus y cubed. And number 4, factor x cubed plus 216y cubed. Okay, so that's all for now. So, para sa mga gustong mag-check ng mga sagot, okay, so ipopost ko po ang sagot sa my Facebook page, Math Video Lesson. Ayan po. And thank you for watching. So, for more videos or visit my YouTube channel, Matt Ish. My Facebook page, Matt Video Lesson. And my Facebook group, Matt Video Lesson or New Normal. So, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.